This project called for a bit of soldering. Although all the electric components were purchased from the same place and made for a simple assembly. I had my own clear vision and damage that needed to be met exactly. The 60 volt soldering tool from AliExpress was faulty, so I had to use my older tool which was not as powerful and slow to heat up so the end result was less professional looking. One problem was that controller did not have cycle analyst connection, so I had to add cycle analyst shunt. The shunt was intended for connecting the battery and the controller. The cycle analyst also need a throttle connection from the controller, also the temperature sensor from the motor wire. I changed the volume. I did, uh, I did not like the end of the motor base cables, so I replaced them with XT90s. I just got the plugs in the middle. Now looking back, the XT150 might be uh, been better. The aim here is being able to move, remove the rear wheel without having to unscrew anything. The positive and negative controller power wires I solder with AS 150 blocks, which are one of my favorites, as there's plenty of room to solder large cables. I tend to forget something every time I do soldering, and this time I forgot to add a shrinking tube. It happens to me very often, and it's extremely annoying having to take everything apart again. I also use a lot XT60 connector for the 12 volt converter for example. And the wire I use to connect the throttle and the temperature fires to the cycle analyzed I ended up finding from points of leftover fires from the basement. There's actually a special tool for the blocks that go the end of the cables, but I hadn't arrived yet, so I had to resort to the Stone Age method. It was tortures. Now that I think about it, it was the electrical system that took the most time. I still need to have the turn signals, stop light, high beam, and more. So a lot more wiring ahead still. Thank you.